What's up guys, it's Drew Huge Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're going to show you guys a bunch of coins that we're sending into CAC. Over the past few weeks, it's been a real pleasure to be able to buy a lot of great coins from a lot of great collectors and dealers. And now we're going to pick the very best to send to see if they'll get the sticker. Without further ado, let's get this video started. You guys have been really loving the CAC stickering videos as of late, and so we've been trying to put out as many as possible. Send in some coins for an experiment. Can we get a gold sticker? Can we get a green sticker? You know, it's all been a lot of fun for us, and I hope it's been for you also. If you guys enjoy videos like this, make sure to leave a like. Comment your thoughts on what's going on in the video. Do you guys like a certain coin over another? Uh, make sure to subscribe because we're coming out with videos every single week. And so we're going to spend a few minutes today, talk about each coin individually, what we love about them, what we hate about them, do we think they would sticker? Do you think they would gold sticker? And uh, you guys are going to see an action-packed group of coins. So let's show you guys these coins. All right, guys. So we have a great mixture to show you guys. So let's start off with a really nice high-end coin that we talked about in a few episodes back. It's an 1879 cap die Morgan dollar. It's graded mint state 64 by PCGS. Overall, I love the luster of the coin. I love the originality of the coin. Um, I think it has a great shot at stickering, but it does have some... A little bit of haze to it. I think it was just from the roll and it being in a little bit of a humid climate. And so it'd be great if this coin stickered. It'd, it'd definitely make me uh, smile, make me very happy. But um, what do you guys think of this coin? Next one we got to show you guys though is uh, another key date, Morgan Dollar. It's the 1893S. Just the stunning originality of the coin really makes us happy, really makes us excited to present to you guys. And uh, hopefully the coin stickers itself. The only thing that we talked about, which was kind of an issue for me, was just that little bit of uh, darkness on the rim there. I do think that they might be forgiving just because of how beautiful and, uh, I don't know. As, as far as 93S's and VG10, I think that one is just as good as you can get it. The next coin I'll show you guys is this 1872CC, great AG3. There's like a little bit of like a, a mark right here, right in the center of the coin. It's hard to pick up on. But that's what held it back for, from stickering for me. And it was a little bit uh, a little bit too white, I guess, for an AG3. You know, it should have that really kind of darkness to it. And so this coin is kind of a no for me. But we're just helping someone out, just sending one coin in for them. The next coin is this 1914D Lincoln Scent. So this one, I think, is all there in terms of grade. It has a little bit of a tone to the coin. And... That might be from old cleaning. And so I'm excited to see what they say about the coin itself. And is it too far gone for it to receive the bean? It'd be good to get a sticker on this coin just because I don't see a lot of 14Ds, especially in OGHs. And with the sticker, it would just be a green on green on a key date, and that would be phenomenal. So the next coin I want to show you, though, is this 1939 Proof Walking Liberty Half, graded Proof 66. The really nice black and white cameo contrast is, is what's jumping out at me. There's a few little light scuffs in the right field, as most proofs have. Uh, it's not quite a cameo. It needs that right there on the, uh, on the sun. But once again, the coin is just stunning and beautiful. And I think it's all there for a 66. I'm going to show you a few lineups for some gold cacks that we think are possible. This is a 1945D Mercury Dime in a Rattler holder. Uh, overall, I think this coin is probably a six full bands, and I think it just has that quality of getting a sticker. That's uh, the nice shiny gold one. We have a few Buffalo nickels that we ended up buying from a couple shows, and this one I think has the qualities of a five, a good five. And so when they gold sticker it, uh, it's going to be good. I think that the strike is all there. I think that um, you know they're a little bit. They should be a little bit more forgiving because San Francisco. Can have a little bit of a softer strike, especially on the cheek, but this one definitely has a, a great strike, especially for the date. A lot of these come really, really soft. We have a 37D Buffalo Nickel. This one has really nice toning. I call this one a really good six. Just strong strike on the obverse, no problems in the fields, great toning to the coin, great luster to the coin, and uh, man, I, this one I just think is, is all there. Then we have this 37D that we picked up 
in uh, in Perry, Georgia. I mean, just look how gorgeous that color is. Nice purple blue. And when you flip it over, it's got that gold and blue on the reverse. I just think this is going to get a green sticker. And honestly, there's so many possibilities that this coin could be an 8 that, you know, I might try to go for an 8 with that coin. We'll see how it goes. Now let's move on to some type coins. So we have this 1827 cap bust half. The luster is a little bit subdued for me for an XF45. If it was, you know, getting close to a 50, it would really need some more luster. And so will they stick at this coin? I think they will. I mean, just look how nice and original it is. But like I said, I just would love a little bit more luster to the coin. I think that would be what would get it all the way home. Then we have this 1797 10 by 6 Drape Bust Dollar. The coin is, is a little bit dark for me. So when you're getting a $17.97 or you know any Drape Bust Dollar, you kind of want it to be almost that Cirque cameo. There's kind of white in the field, there's the darkness on the high points, or there's darkness on the fields and whiteness on the high points. And this one just for me is all dark. I think it just uh, sat in a place where it got a little bit dark over time. It's still a nice coin. It's still very tough to find, but Casey said, hey, man, let's just give it a shot. We'll see how it goes. Maybe John and his team will like it, and, uh, you know, I think it's uh, something to try out. So this is an 1876 seated half dollar. It's like a proof-like, in my opinion. It's not a proof. But look how nice the fields are. Look how gemmy the luster is. It's uh, It's got kind of polished lines out in the field, so I'm not sure how they will take that. It's got incredible color. I mean, just this thing is just gorgeous. It's a beast. I'm excited to see what they think about it. I think this coin is a green sticker. Not sure if it would gold or not. But the next coin is another gold cack that we're going for. 1954S, graded MS64. I think this one is like a six. I, th I mean, if you look at it, there's very little issues in the fields, very little issues on the high points. Um, the luster is all there for a six. I think this one's a lock gold cack. I mean, this is probably, I, I looked through about 200 Franklins in the past two weeks, and I saw this one, and I'm like, this thing is just blows every one of those out of the park. And, I mean, they, they severely undergraded that coin, okay? <laughs> Uh, here is a gold piece that we're sending. This is a 1929 two and a half. So to me, this coin is, is good for the grade just because there's not many issues out in the fields. Um, and when I take a look at, like I said, when you're trying to work at growing your numismatic eye, you need to take a look at a lot of coins, right? So I've taken a look at a lot of two and a half Indians and this one for a 64 is just outstanding. Okay. So the 64 plus that we handled recently, it's about to this caliber. So the 64 plus was PCGS, it was CAC approved. And this one I think is just an equal match to that coin. And so looking forward to seeing what happens with that one. We can be wrong, we can be right, but if we're wrong or right, we both learn from each outcome. And the last coin that I'm gonna show you guys is this 1881S Morgan Dollar Grade Mint State 64 Dimple. It is in a Rattler holder. And I do think it has a shot at just getting the bean. I don't think it's a 65 or anything like that. It's got some hits out here, hits in the fields. But the luster's there, and uh, it's a lovely coin. But thank you guys for taking a look at all the coins we're going to send to CAC. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like. Comment your thoughts on the coins that we presented today. Do you guys enjoy them? Do you think they have a strong shot? Let us know down below. Make sure to subscribe. Coming out with videos every single week. We want you guys to be a part, and we'll see you guys in the next one.